For the first time ever, Richmond Raceway was a part of the playoffs and the Xfinity and Cup Series drivers were put to the test. Hey everyone, I'm Kim Kuhn. This is Rearview Mirror. Somebody ring the bells because Christopher Bell has returned victorious. The Xfinity Series took to the track Friday night for the Go Bowling 250 and saw quite a few surprises. Regular season champion Justin Allgaier ended the night in a hard crash with just 24 laps to go. In his first time back behind the wheel since last season, Dale Earnhardt Jr. led a total of 96 laps and won the second stage, but ended up finishing fourth. And last week's winner, Ross Chastain, had another strong run, taking second. Bell passed race leader Matt Tift after a restart on lap 237 of 250 and outran Chastain. It was Ross's final ride in the number 42 Chip Ganassi Racing Chevrolet. As Bell took the checkers, he moved on to the next playoff round and secured his fifth victory of the season. Round two, baby! Yeah, my friend. Nice work. I'll tell you what, buddy, that's pretty cool. It's uh, it's not very often that you don't that you get to win with a car that's not a winning car. Just goes to show any car is a winning car with the right driver. Before we see what Rowdy was up to this weekend, let's take a look at the Ford Hall of Fans Fan of the Week. I'm Ronnie. I'm Doug. And we're Ford the Ford Fan, fan of, the of the Week. Doug is a very friend of mine. And he's been doing this for 15, 20 years. 15, 20 years. He's been coming down, setting up. A lot of the NASCAR people come down here in the evening. They drink, have a good time at the pool table. We have free hot dogs. Free hot dogs. We've got a 1966 Ford Mustang. I've owned that one for about 30 years. It's all original parts and pieces. I still think the car just looks good. And today's Mustangs look very hot and nice, too. Are you the world's greatest NASCAR fan? Here's your chance to prove it. Go to NASCAR.com slash Ford and tell us why you should be inducted into the Ford Hall of Fans. You could win a new Ford vehicle plus a VIP experience at the 2018 Ford Championship Weekend. Saturday night, a historic milestone was met when Kyle Busch claimed his seventh win of the season and 50th Cup Series victory of his career, tying him with NASCAR Hall of Famers Ned Jarrett and Junior Johnson for 11th on the all-time win list. It was the number 18 versus the number 2 for 21 laps as Keslowski tried but ultimately failed to overtake Kyle Busch. Martin Truex Jr. saw a fantastic run, leading a race-high 163 laps and winning the first and second stages. Busch led 92 laps and had to hold off Kevin Harvick after the number 2 finally bowed down. Harvick recovered well from his crash last week at Las Vegas, leading a total of 73 laps. Kyle Busch made his winning pass on lap 364 of 400 and made Rowdy Nation proud. And for the first time, the big three finished 1-2-3 in the race. Busch only had one real complaint. No, my back's killing me, so um, you're so on edge here that you're just trying to feel the race car the entire time, and you're clenched. You can never let go. You can never relax, and uh, it's just that way the entirety of this race, and with long runs like that, it, it wears on you a little bit, especially when you get to be an old man. Looks like the competition is heating up. That's it for this week. Check back in next week as we head to the road course at Charlotte Motor Speedway to see who's got what it takes and who gets left in the dust.